Let's understand about the minors and cofactors of determinants. And uh, let me clarify one thing here. The determinants for which these minors and cofactors are applicable have to have an order which is greater than or equal to 2. Okay? If it is less than 2, then these minor things are not applicable. Now, you know, the elements of a determinant can always be referred to as A and, you know, IJ, where I represent the number of row to which this particular item belongs. So let's say if I talk about the first one which we are looking here, it belongs to the first row. So I write it as A1 and J refers to the column to which this element belongs. Again, when I talk about the column, this is the first column to which it belongs. So I write this as A11. Similarly, for the second one, we have written it as A12. Why? Because the row to which this belongs is 1. So I have written A1 and the column to which it belongs is first, second, second. So I've written it as A12. Now in this situation, if I have to find out minor, okay, of any element of this particular matrix, okay, so let's say I have to find out the minor of minor 1, 1 of A11, okay, so how do you find out the minor of a given element? right in order to find out what you have to do is you have to eliminate the ith row okay like i told you the first one is i the second is j in this case i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 so if i have to find out the minor of a11 i have to remove the row a11 which is this and the row j which is 1, so this. And whatever is left over here, for that, if I calculate the value, let's say, for example, if I calculate the value for this, then basically what I get is the value M11 of A11. And I think the best way to understand this is through a question. So let's say, for example, I have to find the value of A is equal to 6, 4, 3, 2. This is a order 2, right? If I have to find out the minor of A11, A11 means the first element, row 1, column 1, which is 6. What will I do? I will remove the first row and the first column. So I remove the first row, I remove the first column. What is left here is 2. So the minor of A11 is equal to 2. If you had to find out the minor of A21, which one is A21? Second row, these are the rows, second row, first column, 4. I will eliminate the first column and the second row and what is left behind is the value. This is true for a matrix of order 2. Now let us do this for matrix of order 3. So let's say you are given a matrix A. Okay. And you have to calculate the minor of A11. First row, first column. The element is this. I will eliminate first row, first column. What is left behind? It's minus 1, 5, 4, 3. Right? And we know how to calculate the value of this. Minus 1 times 3 minus 4 times 5. Minus 3 minus 20 or minus 23. So the value of M, or the minor, 1, 1, is equal to minus 23. Similarly, if you have to calculate M, let's say for example, 1, 3. 
How would you do this? M13 means first row, third column. First row, third column. Simple. Eliminate the first row, eliminate the third column. M13 is equal to 3, 6, minus 1, 5. The value of the determinant of what remains behind. So 3 times 5 minus minus 1 times 6. 15 plus 6 is equal to 21. So you just calculate the value of the minors by these procedures. Now let's go back to the second one which is cofactors. Now the value of the cofactor is dependent on the value of the minor. Right? So cofactor of a given number. So let's say if I have to calculate cofactor of a okay for any given number which could be a i j again i means the row j means the column so if i have to calculate let's say for example the cofactor of a i j right this is nothing but minus one times to the power i plus j okay into the minor of i j right so if i had to calculate the minor of a11 let's say for example it was 2 if i have to calculate the cofactor this will be equal to minus 1 times i plus j i is how much 1 plus j is 1 into minor of a11 so it is minus 1 square plus 2 my apologies, it's not plus, it's actually times, which is 2. So the cofactor of A11 is equal to 2. Similarly, if you see in a matrix of order 3, if you have to find out cofactor of A13, it will be equal to minus 1 times I plus J, I1, J, 1 plus 3 times minor of 1 3 and minor of 1 3 was how much 21 1 plus 3 is 4 minus 1 times 4 is equal to 1 so it's 21 now one of the interesting things is that you know uh, if you see this minus 1 square is always going to give you a value of 1 it is only a dependent on whether this number is odd or even in other words, we can say that a cofactor, okay, Cij, cofactor of first row, ith row, jth column, is equal to the minor of the same row and say com same column, okay, which is what you saw over here. These both these numbers are equal. If i plus j is equal to even, or minus m minor ij if i plus j is equal to odd and the reason for this is simple whenever this is even minus 1 times the power even is going to be a positive number and whenever you get this positive number this will be 1 1 into minor is going to give you the minor but if it is odd this is minus 1 times m13 or whatever the minor is is going to give you an odd number right